Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com and today we are going to be talking about haters. <laughs> Dealing with haters. I've done a lot of videos on haters. I should have a playlist. Let's put a playlist here for videos on haters. I've, I've talked about uh, how to deal with haters multiple times, I think twice. I've talked about when you should deal with haters. I've talked about all kinds of things. I've, I've dealt with haters. Uh, you've probably seen uh, some videos I've done where I've smacked down haters, right? Uh, but today I'm going to talk about, uh, again, how to deal with haters but in a different way, right? So I think I've talked about how to deal with haters in a harsh way. and I've, I've demonstrated that before and I think that that's, uh, that's sometimes necessary, sometimes to call out an example and to you know, I think there's there's some valid reasons for doing that. I've talked about how to deal with haters in a really nice way to convert haters over to become your friends. If you can win over a hater, I think that's an awesome thing to do. I mean, that's the thing you should do most of the time if, if it's possible because you can create a really good loyal fan from that. Uh, but you know, you, you're gonna have to choose <laughs> uh, how you wanna deal with haters. I'm gonna give you an, another way, yet another way to deal with haters today because a lot of you I know that have been following my advice, you're, you're starting to get haters and, you, and you're starting to try to figure out, well, how, how should I handle this? I'm gonna give you a good way to deal with a hater that's that's hating on some work that you did uh, in, in a second here. I do wanna say too that, you know, I think this is an important topic, like why do I keep on talking about this? Some people say, you shouldn't even address haters at all, you should just ignore them. I totally, that's a totally valid point and you, you could do that, that's, 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 that's totally cool, right? But. I, I don't know. I mean, the thing is like you have to realize this too is that like I, I don't get as upset as sometimes I play it up a little bit for the camera. I'll admit it as far as haters or you know or in the comments uh, because I, I want to make an example. I want to make a point and, uh, and, and and I'm just having a little bit of fun. But it, but it does affect me sometimes too. I, I will be honest and it will affect you even when you don't think it does even when you deny it. You know sometimes you're just sitting there and you're like gosh why am I having a crappy day today? Like everything seems to be going good and then you realize it's well oh it's because I read those couple of reviews on my Amazon book. Oh that's interesting. Interesting, or maybe that those Facebook comments or, or Twitter comments where someone was nasty, and those haters actually did have an effect on you. As much as strong as you are, as much as you try to not let it affect you, it can. Sometimes it's best to just ignore those those comments. I've heard of book authors that they don't even look at the reviews because of that. But anyway, I just thought I would I would throw that out here. Let's talk about how to deal with haters, one way to do it. Uh, you know, again, like I said, I've talked about a few different ways, but I'm gonna talk about a specific way that I was thinking about. That you've probably seen me do actually a couple times in YouTube comments, on blog posts, on, on things like that. I'm thinking about doing this for all my Amazon reviews. So I've got a book out there, by the way, Soft Skills, Software Developers, Life Manual. Mostly, like it's, it's almost all five-star reviews, but there are a few haters out there. And you know, one way to deal with haters that's kind of interesting is to simply say to them, Hey, I am looking forward to the when you write your book or the book that you've produced on this or could you point me to uh, the example, right? Or m most likely, like I'm looking forward to when you write a book on this topic that does a better job than I did, that, that covers these things. My work isn't perfect, but I, I'm really looking forward to see how you improve upon it and how you do the, the better, uh, write a better book. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, just send me that as soon as you get it. I would love to uh, read it and to recommend it to my audience because I, I would, I would love to see uh, you know a, a, it being handled better or, you know <laughs> uh, and you could say the same about YouTube videos right it's the same idea you could say oh I, I and I you've probably seen me do this one before is I, I, I am a, I am anxiously awaiting your YouTube video uh, that addresses this topic better than I did uh, as, as soon as I get it I'll, I'll be happy to watch it and to share with my audience right and you could say this about a blog post right you could say this about a lot of things essentially the gist of it is you tell the hater like look we, I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you to produce something better. If you do, I'll be happy, I'll be glad. And, and it's, there's some sarcasm in there, but it's also honest, and I'll tell you why, because honestly, like if someone produces something better, great, that's great, right? I'm producing content, I'm producing stuff to help people. If someone can do something better than I can, I'm gonna promote that, I, if it can help people, right? It, I, I hope you produce something better than me. And, and what that does is it does a couple of things. One, it probably silences the hater because I'll tell you that most people that hate on you, they don't actually produce anything themselves, right? That's why, like people that are successful, that are doing things, that are busy, 
They're too busy to hate on people, right? And even if they weren't, they wouldn't respond that way because they know how hard it is to produce something and to put your work out there in, in the public eye and they know what it feels like to get hate on that. So they actually encourage you. You know, everyone that's been more successful than me that has ever, you know, commented on something that I have done has encouraged me. They may have offered some word of advice or how I could improve a thing, but in a super encouraging way, not in a hater way, right? In fact, most people that are most success, more successful than you, they don't even have time to do that, right? So typically, when you find haters hating your stuff, it's, it's people that aren't doing. They're not doing. It's not you personally, right? They're 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 they don't have they have time to actually sit there and write nasty comments about about people's stuff instead of actually doing something and producing something on their own. Now. If one of those people happens to produce something, I'm happy for them, right? You know, but the chances are if someone says, hey, you know, you could grow your, you shouldn't make videos like this, or your videos are too long, or blah, 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 or you shouldn't talk this way, or you, know, you shouldn't wear your cat backwards, you know, my response is like, oh, great, I, I am, I am, I, I would love to see your YouTube channel with a million subscribers and, and to learn from you. Go ahead and put the link down below. Let me, let me see. <laughs> right? And they got nothing. So that's a great way, like I said, it'll disarm haters really quickly. It'll also help for other people that are watching, that are seeing the thread, to, to realize that, okay, it takes some effort. Like if you're gonna say something against someone, you better back it up. You better have something to show that, you know, and if you do, then that's fine, right? But like I said, most people that do, they don't have the time for it. They don't care. They're not gonna, they're not, I'm, not, I'm not coming over to some, some, someone who's got 100 subscribers on the YouTube channel and coming over their video and telling them how much their video sucks. I ain't got time for that. If anything, I'm coming over there and encourage them, give them a thumbs up and say, dude, keep going. You know, keep, keep going, you know, do, do better. Yes, awesome, great. Uh, you know, give them encouragement. I'm not coming over there to knock them down. Why would you knock down someone who's, who's not doing as good as you? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, maybe you'd shoot at people that are higher than you and some people do that, right? But, but you, don't, you don't knock down people that are, that are you know, trying, that, are, that are, are below you on the, on the totem pole. It doesn't make any sense. So, and Anyway, that's just a quick way to deal with haters that can disarm them and, and maybe, maybe make them think, you know, I don't have any hope when it comes to haters, but maybe it might make them think and realize that, hey, wait a minute, this guy actually produced something. I don't actually have something. Hmm, okay, maybe I should shut up. It usually silences them because there's really not a good comeback that you can come with if, if, if someone's saying, I look forward to seeing you, your better version of this. Unless you come up with something better, uh, you, you kind of got to be silent because what, 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 what else can you say? <laughs> so anyway, it's not a cure-all. You know, there's always going to be haters. It doesn't solve anything. It doesn't solve everything, but it it is one way to respond to haters that that I think is is a, a productive way. I think it's it's a good option. So anyway, if you like this video, if you don't like this video, if you want to hate on all the videos that I do, some of you love to do that. The best way to do it is to click the subscribe button because if you click the subscribe button, you'll get like the two to three videos I do a day, and you can just sit there and hate on them all all you want. And I'll just ask you, where's your YouTube channel? But uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, uh, thumbs up. If you want to share it, that's always cool. And I will talk to you next time. Take care. And don't hate.